we have Rupali Chava, GCC tax manager at the Apparel Group. Now, Rupali has a, about 11 years of experience in the field of taxation and has been uh, extensively working in the area of tax structuring, international taxation, transfer pricing, tax planning and optimization and even tax compliance. Now, currently, uh, she is working as a tax manager for the GCC region at the Apparel Group and is responsible for the corporate tax implementation, transfer pricing, pillar to evaluation, restructuring and optimization. Uh, besides the corporate uh, implementation, she is responsible for direct and indirect compliances around GCC, including withhold taxes, treaty analysis and litigation. Welcome to the show, Rupali. I almost ran out of breath. <laughs> Amazing. What profile hai. Rupali, it's a pleasure to uh, speak to you. So, Rupali, these are all the things that we have said in your introduction. Mein kaha, corporate tax implementation, transfer pricing, pillar to evaluation. Has everything been in practice since a long time here? Pe? No, not in UAE, but uh, back in India, I was working with one of the big fours and working in the international taxation. Hmm. So, when we moved to the GCC region, the, of course, it's considered as a tax heaven and the... Uh, oh, badal raya bhi, hai na? Yeah, it's <laughs> been changing now, but then I've been working on few KSA clients. So we have the income tax already in KSA. Of course, there's a different uh, positions out there for the people who are GCC nationals and zakat is applicable instead of income tax. But yeah, more or less, as UA economy is drawing its analogies from KSA and the KSA is the main driver. Mm. So I think that could add on to the picture. Kya baat hai? So what is the scenario where retail market is concerned in the UAE? You know, how does it really play in important role um, in the UAE economy? See, the retail market in UAE is enormous. It is, UAE is known as a land of retail tourism. It has been one of the topmost destination for both the global retailers and the international tourists. With right. Dubai leading as one of the uh, core in among the seven R Emirates. Right, so, right. And there has been a lot more movement in the region that is happening. For example, there are new community malls that have been opening up. Then there is a consumer spending which has increased post-COVID. Correct. 19% of the spending has increased with 13% exclusively towards the retail sector itself. And there will be 99% right. tourists, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Because there are many initiatives which the government is also taking with regard to the Dubai Shopping Festival, mm. Dubai Summer Prize Surprises. So, of course, tourists who will travel over to UAE have that in calendar. Keeping that in mind, they plan their visits. And then there's a new concept of sustainability, the conscious customer spending. So there are a more, lot more sustainable brands in picture now. And then you must be knowing the mall of Metaverse is in picture. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. Then GCC has opened its first digital store. Wow. In UAE. What is digital? It is nothing but a mixture of physical as well as the digital hmm. um, store okay. you can say so if you will see in dubai hills mall mm -hmm. it's the sixth street has opened its first digital store Kya baat hai? yeah it's ah. very it's buzzing among the retailers nowadays okay. and it's it's a very unique concept mm -hmm. it is not like first of all the inventory stock is multifolds mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. they can store more than there's no display of the goods out there but mm -hmm. yeah they have an inventory of more than seven times than the actual retail store mm. okay so what you can do when you walk down to the store you'll see the tablets waiting for you you can simply scroll down and look onto the you know uh, items and add your favorite items to the cart and then see how it looks on you also no it is not like that that is towards metaverse mm. so it is like when you will uh, add to the cart you will get a message mm. that your items are ready in so and so trial room mm. so when ah. you go to the trial room the trial room is Achha. not same ah. as before okay so it is like it's an interactive trial room mm -hmm. for example i went on to try a blue color and i says no i don't like blue blue is not suiting me maybe i would go for a yellow color mm. so okay. i came from the trial room itself Change I can it. raise a request. Se bahar a ake, dunna, yeah. size, ye, wo sab yes, and it's very nice. There's a door that opens up and your hangers will just walk out and then you can simply This is something so, I want to experience. Next yeah. level to retail Quite amazing. is really, you know, it's a lot of You know, I have seen a lot of people in China, there is a mall where mm. you choose the items that you choose and all the things that you have to go to your house. Now this is actually taking it to the next level. Is so this, this was long back. Okay, I thought you were just cooking up something. Yeah, no, no, even no. Lenskart has started, uh, you know, you can pull on to your cameras and you can see how it looks. But digital is something which is like buzzing nowadays. So it's very unique and let's see where it goes further. 
because metaverse is also in line so yeah retail market overall is growing so i like the aspect of digital and for me it's very important for me to feel the product to feel the material so it's a mix of both ha yeah, so that works for me i mean paise physically dene hain ya wo bhi digitally dene hain wo bhi puch lo I think digital payments are making the shopping even more, you know, increasing addictive. the shopping level. It is level, yeah. very addictive because you don't feel that you're paying out of your own pocket. It's just touch a card and it's gone. Correct. Right. Yeah. Uh, so where are you talking about? Uh, you know, obviously you spoke about the metaverse in terms of uh, the new mall that is reopening. So talk to me about what, how Apparel is planning their move forward and how they've managed to incorporate the two of them in, um, you know, in their future plans. See, uh, in terms of Apparel. I would say, uh, like the long term goals, kafi hai. Yeah, and then UAE history. UAE has a history of international brands. Hmm. Hmm. It works on its franchisee models. Correct. So there are lots and lots of brands which are entering the region. Correct. So there are new brands coming up. Absolutely. I, I'm sure you must be aware of. Yes. Yeah, Forest yeah. Essentials. I 25 love. Twenty-five stores. I love. Have been announced. So. Sky Zone and even a, a Baduta Mall. <laughs> I love it. And I could get some points as well in the loyalty program. But now. Talk about government support in the growth of retail sector. Nay, nay, brands ana is great, but you know government support be बहुत जरूरी है. And now taxation system भी region में launch हो रहा है ना. इसके बारे में what do you think, Rupali? Government was always inclined towards diversifying its revenue stream. Right. Hmm. So it has already taken initiatives into the retail sector. Right. Of course, the COVID gave a ma- major hmm. hit to hmm. the economy, but then. Uh, the Dubai shopping festival your Dubai summer surprises have always been there there mm. has been no change out Correct. of that yeah. further if you are aware of then Abu Dhabi investment authorities have diversified their investments into the retail sector mm. right like, yeah. so the lens card the reliance retail so they have a huge investments okay and coming to the taxation system yes the vat has been introduced and earlier there was no tax refund scheme mm. so government has been looking into that and the tax refund scheme has been introduced mm. right So you, the, yeah so, so, so you're talking about uh, obviously we've been focusing on corporate tax uh, but vat has been there for ab- about 3 uh, years maybe a few years or more 4 uh, years i think 4 years yeah five years? so in five your 5 years 5 years, years. years. okay yes. so in your okay, opinion let's set it down on 5 okay oh gosh <laughs> in so in your opinion has the vat evolved over a period of time and what are the changes that um you know we would be looking into yes of course the vat has evolved a lot and any taxation system which is impacting the retail sector it has to be a it has to be balanced between whether the what are the priorities of the government wh- mm-hmm. how th- how desirable it is to promote the retail sector mm. and then finally the revenue enhancement mm. so over the 5 years yes it has been lot more changes there are many public clarifications and the vat guides which have been introduced mm. however in september 22 the entire vat law has been you know overlooked Ah. since the law has now been matured it has been overlooked Correct. and there are many key amendments that have happened there are more of the i would say the clarificatory uh, like there were few positions mm-hmm. in the market before that which were uh, many taxpayers were falling in but which were little ambiguous in terms of the treatments mm-hmm. so there are more clarifications that have come with the new revised law for example if you could just state a few see uh, yeah and for the in terms of your date of supply and the mm. place of supply so it talks about that when when you are sending the goods on uh, you know on approval basis mm-hmm. yeah then if you send the goods and it's not accepted or it's not raised uh, as you know sold further and it's in the uh, custody of the consignee for more than 12 months so 12 months trigger date is there so now this clause has been specifically added oh, yeah, any which way is following it रूपाली यू नो होल्ड ऑन टू दैट थॉट ये एक्सप्लेनेशन अब जरूर हमें बताना जरूर uh, mm-hmm. और फिर म्यूरल का टेस्ट भी हम लेंगे कि वो क्या कितना समझे बट <laughs> आपका टेस्ट अगर आपको देना है तो टैली सोल्यूशन डॉट कॉम पर जाइए यू गेट ऑल दी आंसर्स फॉर इट द बेस्ट योर बिजनेस कैन गेट वाई सेटल फॉर गुड वेन यू कैन गेट द बेस्ट टैली सोल्यूशन डॉट कॉम ये घंटा इज ब्रॉट टू बाई टैली सोल्यूशन सुनते रहिए Welcome to Day Break with Vivek Sanal and myself Murali San currently in conversation with Rupali Jawas a GCC tax manager at the Apparel Group. Uh we were discussing uh you know what at length and you were explaining to us Rupali as to what were the clarifications or what are the kind of those minute details that now have been revised and in workable for the government. So if you could just talk to us a little bit more about it. So the second change I would mention out here is that in regard to the import of the goods and services hmm. so earlier also we are importing 
medical equipments and medicines which are subject to zero rated so most of the taxpayers were following it as a you know a zero rated purchase and reporting it accordingly however since it triggers that your you know customs custom data automatically takes 5% vats mm -hmm. and when you file the you know uh, vat return and you try to adjust the vat rate it triggers okay. that mm. it should it is not 5% if you if you make it to 0% however okay. the correct tax rate is 0% so some some taxpayers will little reluctant to make an adjustments because of this trigger point so now this has again been clarified in the law so i think it will have a you know consistent position and overall mujhe yeah. to ye lag raha hai ki since vat uh, jab se hai mm -hmm. you know it has given a good platform for a lot of people in fact in terms of businesses to understand the taxation system your thoughts on it rupali definitely it has and i what would i say that it's i think it's the most booming time for the chartered accountants out there <laughs> <laughs> so the businesses of the tax consultants have increased way too much and moreover also in terms of the industries i would say uh, it is very much advisable to have a separate tax team mm -hmm. the companies have started building up that they are looking for the expertise but as you know the gcc taxation system is still so new Evolving, in terms of yeah. uh, right. corporate tax mm. and you know you have a very niche knowledge like if if you are expert in vat then how you will implement corporate tax how mm. you will take an impact of pillar 2 mm -hmm. how the transfer pricing would work so everything has to go uh, hand in hand, hand, in hand right. and you need to have a team you need to have a very strong team right. which can you know build on and get the expertise of the respective fields into the picture right mm -hmm. so when so you're talking about vat as well you know how do you think this has impacted the retail industry i mean has the retail industry seen a bit of a nothing change nothing it's impacted customers <laughs> yeah but you would still see a change right i mean uh, where uh, you know the vat is concerned because it's not just physically it's, it's even online that you pay for things so yeah. yes i would say the vat has much impacted the retail industry because in retail industry you deal with the direct customers mm. so of course the impact is way too much on the uh, retail industry mm -hmm. and uh, see there are different parties to the supply chain mm. yeah and every link you add into the chain collects vat and add value to it and okay. the tax is paid on the value addition hmm. okay however for the end consumer who is using it for its own benefit mm -hmm. is the ultimate you know pair pair hmm. so hmm. right now of course the vat rate is 5% which is quite less as compared to like ksa has increased bahrain has increased the rate hmm. so still i would say that uae has been you know the attractive thing i don't think so the consumers are little you know our consumers worried. are yeah they are not worried they are little restless in terms of how the entire taxation system would work okay. will we end up paying out of our own pockets or mm -hmm. how that would work but i don't think so 5% for any big a uh, industry or a big retailer group would make a difference but there has been few changes in the retail sector okay you know in in i would say not in the retail sector in the law lately which okay. could impact the retail sector okay so one is the deemed supplies all right so you must be observing that we are giving lot of free goods and services and when there are transactions within the same group mm -hmm. i don't mean it like same tax group but mm. among the related parties for right. example um you know the big groups out here take it apparel they have different related parties okay mm. okay so it could be the retail sector and then they have the hospitals and there are different sectors the attached to it yeah. Yeah. yeah so then you are transferring the goods free of charge mm. so that is basically subject to vat mm -hmm. because you know you are charging free of cost but there is uh underlying supply of goods and services so, so are these the kind of attention that a retailer needs to pay uh, you know yes. heed to when it comes to vat yes absolutely the retailer needs to pay and this was already in picture before what has been added now is that when you are making a transaction between the related party then the see earlier what was there if the value of deemed supplies or is be cost of the goods ji so for example if you have you if you're supplying the goods worth 500 dirhams mm -hmm. to your related party or to anyone and the cost of that good is 200 dirham okay then you will pay vat at at 5% on the cost of the goods mm -hmm. which is 10 dirham mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, the recipient can claim the input of it okay but mm -hmm. where the recipient is ineligible for mm -hmm. example it's a mm, blocked input mm -hmm. company a is you know claiming the input on on 
maybe the food expenses or the mess expenses and cross charging to company b which is a related party mm-hmm. and the related party company b is not eligible to claim the input because it's blocked mm-hmm. then the value of deemed supply will change okay. what do you mean by blocked 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 inputs are the one which are you know which are not eligible to claim input okay. for example all your entertainment expenses mm. your mobile expenses all those which are for the personal benefit of the employees mm. okay so those are the blocked inputs so like um, my uh, my company giving me a car that is a blocked input right yes me. if you can then again there is of course there's a lot more it's not just this is for personal <laughs> use is it for office yes. use so people are going aggressive although we suggest that we sh- should not claim an input on the mm. um, motor vehicles and its usage however people are going aggressive considering the quantum for example in case of the sales delivery there mm. are ample number of vehicles mm. so in that case we would suggest that prepare the sops prepare the internal processes strong enough install the gps system so that you can track the usage Correct. try to ensure that you have a parking uh, in your office premises so that you can park out there and even if it's moving out then you have to justify to the tax authority or either take a clarification privately amazing so, you know rupali ye sare points jo aapne bataya hai it is you know makes uh, an organization's life so easy uh, but a chartered accountant as an accountant unke liye tally solutions kitna easy kar deta hai life in terms of uh, all the solutions that they have इसके बारे में भी हम बात करेंगे राइट आफ्टर दिस सुनते रहिए दिस आवर इज ब्रॉट यू बाई टैली सोल्यूशन टैली सोल्यूशन डॉट कॉम पे लॉग ऑन कीजिए डे ब्रेक चल रहा है एंड दिस आवर इज ब्रॉट यू बाई टैली सोल्यूशन द बेस्ट बिजनेस कैन गेट जरूर लॉग ऑन कीजिए एंड वी टॉकिंग टू रूपाली जावा जीसीसी टैक्स मैनेजर एट दी अपार ग्रुप Rupali hum bahut sare cheeze baat kar rahe hain yes Muriel Absolutely and you know when we were on a break uh, Vivek the two of us got chatty and we were speaking about the changes in terms of audit right mm-hmm. I mean Rupali you didn't mention about audit assessment portals BDs talk to us about it Okay it's one of the interesting topic after the law has been amended in September 2022 uh, although it is effective from January 2023 there has been an extension of audit timeline beyond 5 years mm. earlier earlier your accounts or your books could be audited only up to the 5 years from the expiration of the relevant tax period so for example if you are uh, for your first tax period of 2018 december 2022 was the last uh, period where you could be audited however hmm. it has been seen and observed basically in the insurance companies lately that if the tax authorities issue you a notice mm-hmm. in before the expiry of the fifth period mm-hmm. for example in november 2022 they issue you a notice mm-hmm. then your timeline gets extended okay for another 5 years mm-hmm. considering that as the first year so then effectively there is a uh, potential increase in the window for the tax audit mm-hmm. so the fta is getting more serious and conscious with regard to the uh, audits and assessments mm-hmm. then there has been another update regard to the audit assessments itself that if you file a voluntary disclosure for example in your fifth year mm. then within the one year fta could reach out to you for the audit ass- assessments and the audit so again the window gets extended mm. and there are two other factors where the mm-hmm. audit limit has been extended up to 15 years that is one in the case of the uh, tax evasion mm-hmm. and mm. other in the case of the if you are f- if you fail to register for what although you are liable to oh so yes the ft audits the tax audits have been increasing we might see a little buzz towards the corporate tax implementation right now but mm-hmm. yeah audit assessments and everything has to be looked upon and we should be prepared about it right about the preparations about the tax audit in terms of vat should be very strong we need to have a strong robust system out there mm. and then there has been a lately another change in terms of the voluntary disclosures mm-hmm. mm. so earlier this this change is not effective from january but rather it is effective from march 2023 okay i'd say and then earlier what what was the scenario was like if you are if you are underpaying the vat mm. to the tax authorities more than 10000 for example if you are paying less to the tax authority and the amount of tax less paid is more than 80 10000 mm. then you must file a voluntary disclosure okay. so there is a fee charged to the voluntary disclosure for first we have 1000 dirham and subsequent is the 2000 dirham mm. now this has been changed now the tax authorities have clarified that even if there is no change in the tax liability okay you need to make any changes for example 
you skipped reporting the zero rated supplies you skipped reporting the exempt supplies then all such corrections can be made by filing a voluntary disclosure mm. so this again has a you know a fee attached to it moreover there has been a new mr tax portal uh, been introduced Launched. by mm. the fta mm -hmm. so if there is no change in the tax liability it does not allows you to submit the Ah. voluntary disclosure although the law has defined okay that we have to file a voluntary disclosure in comes in terms there is no change in the tax impact however practically it is not possible so we await some clarifications from the ft on such angle right but are we going to be seeing any uh, changes or repercussions where the retailers are concerned or is this going to be again uh, you know bombarded at the consumers So no, a lot of these retailers, you know, mm -hmm. small timers, they want to evade paying uh, whack because they, or rather, they charge and then they don't claim, you know, they don't make those receipts and give it to you so that they pocket all of that. I mean, now has the uh, FTA become a little more stricter with the kind of regulations? I would not say that the retailers' intentions were to avoid paying taxes. I would say that they were lack of knowledge, <laughs> lack of knowledge, tax planning. but now with the increasing ft audits of course uh, it will it will be even more strict and needs to deep dive into each transaction tax positions taken but i would not say that uh, we have been you know evading <laughs> taxes we are there in Because the picture planning it in a more optimized way uh, you know bahut sare scenarios ho sakte hain now retailers definitely have to pay attention to some of them when it comes to factoring what agar quickly if you could do that uh some scenarios your retailers should pay attention to since we were talking about retailers yeah so uh everyone must be aware of the regular income that retailers mm. earn from the pos machines at the stores mm. what we need to look upon the look upon is the other income mm. Mm. so we have a rental income mm. okay. which retailers earn for example if you go to a car for market you'll see a gondola standing and you know it's it's not car for products okay. maybe a third for example a feet fit is promoting this products mm. and has taken a shelf mm. at the mm. uh, car right. for so, so the mm. brands take those shelves so right. we cannot say that it's a you know it's a your uh, retail income but yes it is an other income that retailers are earning ah, and needs attention to correct mm. correct so and then there are other cases where there is an advertisements mm. on the invoices we see there are you know back of the invoices we see advertisements again coming back to the car for or supermarkets mm. uh, you see the uh, on the bottom of the invoices you see the dominos in this uh, advertisements on all those and correct, they charging correct. so those things if you're charging to those parties mm -hmm. or even if you're providing free of supply then the deeming provisions would apply and if you're charging that that needs to be reported okay mm -hmm. so there's a lot there's a lot i can just go uh, coming to the retail sector mm. there's a lot of goods which is damaged or there are samples which are lying at the stores because they cannot sell those samples correct, expired yeah. products even expired products uh, expired products will not be sold it would be you know you are being so strict yeah you have to expire yes, products yes. so all those items which are sold needs to uh, be looked upon into mm. and be a part of the vat implications then there is a free parking free delivery charges free parking is a very important example out here which is overlooked trolley tickets uh, trolley tokens ha ha mm. when you go to the supermarket what you do the one dirham thing you pay a one dirham and mm. you take a trolley and you park it at a designated place mm. while you move out of the store and you get your one dirham back hmm. which is totally out of scope because hmm. it's a refundable deposit kabhi kabhi hum bhul jate hain ha what <laughs> happens then absolutely what is that consideration for that consideration is basically for the supply of the service for usage of the trolley so people don't report that or i would not blame it on the Haan, people evade it's one kar kar yes <laughs> reh jata hai it's it's not one dirham if you see 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 the footfall in the markets each day hmm. 100000 200000 it, it could be Way too much. Yeah. So that other consideration has to be looked upon. And so that's where I think Tally Solutions makes your life also simpler. Uh, इसके बारे में भी हम और डिटेल बात करेंगे. But if you have any questions for Rupali, you can send a WhatsApp zero five eight six eight six one zero zero three. Your phone be eight hundred eight one zero zero three. Talk one hundred point three. So yeah, we will discuss about that Tally Solutions every hour, uh, Monday and Fridays. को Tally Solutions bring to you जहाँ पे Tally Compliance Maestros आते हैं. So today we're discussing about VAT as well. Like a quick question after that hmm. mural, your question. Maxi, question is that please advise the solution 
अबाउट वी आर पेइंग फाइव परसेंट वैट ऑन एवरी परचेज लेकिन देर इज नो काउंटर बैक अमाउंट ऑफ फिल्स रिटर्न टू कस्टमर्स और जिसके वजह से स्मॉल कॉइन्स आर नॉट इश्यूड बाई अथॉरिटीज एंड कैलकुलेटेड फिल्स अमाउंट इज मिलियन दरम्स ईयरली अर्निंग टू एवरी रिटेल अवॉर्ड अबाउट दिस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मस्ट बी लुकड इन टू सो वट हैपन्स इफ यू आर पेइंग थ्रू कार्ड्स देन ऑफकोर्स द फिल्स इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम but there are ah. times for example when you have a tourist coming over and other times also people still use cash, cash as a medium of payment so Correct. it's absolutely okay to use that so what happens when we make when we for example buy a good for say 108 108 dirham okay and the customer comes and pay 110 dirham and ah. we do not have a change of 2 dirham or chocolate de dete uske jagah pe ye india mein hota hai but yaar yahan pe bhi hoti hai so what we suggest over here is that what is the excess consideration collected for example if your item as i mentioned is of 108 and you collected an excess consideration from one customer of 2 dirham hmm. so then since you have collected that consideration of 2 dirham for the supply of goods and services the value has been defined in the law that the value of supply would be the consideration collected hmm. so we advise our you know the customers there to pay vat on 2 dirham okay now to dirham you have not collected what your question would be that why should i pay on this mm-hmm. so we'll consider this excess consideration as inclusive of what okay. and out of that itself we shall pay to the tax authorities we cannot keep it with us what us. happens if the counter pe jo hai wo do dirham nahi uh, you know aapne collect to kiya lekin apne jeb mein dal diye for example then there is no issue for example it's a tip let's say then there is no problem see tips is very different it has to be defined as a tip you hmm. cannot just collect excess consideration ki uh, customers ne kabhi kabhi 2 dirham zyada de de ki theek hai tum rakh lo so that is no problem see tips are different because tips agreement is like when you go to the restaurants also there is a tip concept hmm. so tip is kind of a disbursement you're collecting it to be given to your employees hmm. so you are just a medium for the collection of the money and passing on the money so that is that no is different but in the retail sector when you get excess consideration we call it as rounding off most mm. of the um, tax systems acknowledge that when they reconcile the sales there is excess or shortage or there is a rounding off there is some gl which will have this kind of a you know transactions reported so we advise our customers and the retailers to please 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 take this as a challenging or a mm. important point in the uh, vat imp- uh, vat Uh, returns and okay. please mm. pay VAT on it. Mm. And what about e-invoicing, Rapali? You were mentioning about e-invoicing and you know the future of it. Yeah. So uh, GCC has implemented a taxation system. It is quite old-fashioned. However, it has still you know substantiated the revenues gained from the VAT. So it is not. I would say it is it is not adopted more of a modern or electronic systems. Right. However, the KSA has already integrated the e invoicing, mm-hmm. and it's suggested that UAE and Bahrain shall follow the lead since KSA drives and then everyone just follows it. So we expect definitely e invoicing and the more real time reporting coming into the UAE tax regime as well. Mm. Okay, great. I think we need to quickly. Um, you know hold on to this thought and when we come back we will be talking more about this talk 100.3 day break chal raha hai vivek muriel aur rupali hamare sath rupali is uh, you know itni amazing information unhone share ki hamare sath we were talking about vat gcc tax manager at apparel group rupali java right you know uh, even on the break we were discussing about uh, if for example i am a company and i'm a small or mid sized retail company how could i use technology to stay a uh, tax compliant see a robust system is very important to be implemented in any hmm. any uh, you know any organization i would say today you are small or mid sized but your vision is not to be a small or mid sized so hmm. it's very important to right now take an action and you know implement a system so uh, fta has few accredited systems on their websites we can 
Uh, we can go look into that what is more cost effective and does not hit your pockets as well since you are right now a growing company hmm. so tally solution tally prime is one such solution which we can look into uh, okay. what i like about it is that there is a it has a pos feature in it hmm. and for any big company i would say if you need a pos uh, you know a pos feature then a back back Uh, accounting software to mm-hmm. integrate the POS information into that accounting software. So Tally has that feature that POS uh, it can raise an invoice through POS and as well as maintain the books of accounts. Right. Mm. So all those FAF files and FAF files is sorry the FT audit files are <laughs> <laughs> known as FAF okay. files. Yeah. It's I know she's just been watching slang. too much of cricket. <laughs> so, so then advance invoicing is a very a uh, important point to be looked upon although the vat has you know matured over the past 5 years but then still it is one of the you trigger point in terms of tax audits and in terms of uh, you know differing the tax payments so um, i would say tally prime has that such feature as well but there are other i would not say that you should evaluate it more there are other accredited softwares which has been you know mentioned by the fta so you can look upon which is more you know cost effective in terms of time and money mm-hmm. and then right. go for it but yeah but system is very important yeah quality work is very important yes yeah. yes and does. tally does just that uh, so when you talking about checkpoint uh, you know one should obviously look at uh, when you're talking about uh, tax audit ready what are those checkpoints see how how the tax audit works is that your fta will issue you a questionnaire mm-hmm. over an email mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you need to be uh, you need to prepare that Uh, replies to that questionnaire and you need to respond to it in 5 working days mm-hmm. so again coming back to you need to have your faf files ready fta audit files in the prescribed format ready okay. so that you are able to furnish the data to the fta within the 5 working days mm-hmm. and we we strongly advise that you should give it within the 5 working days and not you know it's kind of creating a curiosity in the fta's mind that why are they delaying is the system not ready is the data not ready So then secondly we need to look into the reconciliation hmm. sales and tax reconciliations are very 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 important to be looked upon there has been a there has been the scenario where i just mentioned about it other income correct so yeah. you just reconcile your revenue gls to your what uh, what hmm. 201 forms but you need to look on to the other gls there are certain cross charges to the related parties there are certain other cross charges so th- that that needs to be looked upon into their recoveries from the employees mm-hmm. so we need to reconcile the entire sales from the books of the accounts then there are lot of promotions which are running nowadays correct yeah so ramadan hai right yeah. yes yes so this is very 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 important again i don't know i can just go on and on with this uh, we have free samples okay mm. again the deeming provision supply which means that you are supplying the goods mm-hmm. to the end customer at a you know Zero, free, uh, zero yeah. sales or uh, zero uh, value. Giving influencers uh, giveaway. Yes, or something, yes, you know? and then there are buy one get one, mm-hmm. buy three for two AD, twenty uh, AD. Mm-hmm. So there are a lot more offers which are going on. We need to look into the tax treatments of each such offer. Coming to your, uh, you know, the discounts or Correct. the uh, coming from a big <laughs> retail group, I would say, um, and even otherwise, I would say that. there is a concept of you know gifting to the uh, employees or to your friends family uh, gift ah, cards to ye sab accountable hai mm. yeah yes see when you give a for example uh, i personally got a gift card from mr mm. mm. so it's when you when you issue a gift card okay you don't know where will i redeem it it's right, from mr right. i can redeem it at a restaurant i can redeem it at one store i can Dubai redeem Mall. partly yeah. at one store and partly at other stores so oh. we have to look like we have to synchronize it so it has been very well clarified that when you issue a gift card then there is no supply to it mm. it's just like a money that you have transferred for them to be used mm. right so then we can re- redeem it at different stores and we when we redeem the redemption is subject to vat right nice. you know as the gcc tax manager of you know one of the biggest retail firms over here um how do you manage to um you know talk to your um colleagues or how do you prepare them every month and is is there a, a sort of a uh hygiene in terms of uh, tax that you maintain or in bookkeeping that you maintain so that you always are you know you're ahead of its time i appreciate your question this is so very important 
so very important yes um i am not checking the book keeping to be very straight forward but yes the kind of reviews that i do mm-hmm. book keepings ultimately come into the picture okay so i don't start with vat 201 mm. maybe i'm taking almost like 360 degree view or the opposite approach mm-hmm. than the other consultant i start with the trial balance mm. i see the movements in the ledger mm-hmm. because my worry is your revenue gls gls are anyways you know mapped you will get a pos details incorporated into the uh, accounting software the returns are clear everything is fine mm. i look more into the trial balance movements mm. there are amount due to related parties mm. we are paying the royalties and subscription fees overseas meta mm. there is a lot more going on so all these transactions have a vat impact Mm-hmm. So I look deeply into the amount due to related parties. Whatever I feel that you know, royalty subscriptions I know are coming from Facebook, Google, and all that. So I know that it could have a import of service trigger point. How mm-hmm. you are paying about it? Mm-hmm. Then there are, if you have, if you will look into the expense ledgers, mm-hmm. there are credit sites to expense ledgers. Okay. So which could be a tax credit note, of course, mm-hmm. but there are scenarios when there are recoveries. Mm-hmm. So that needs to be looked upon. There's okay. a lot. i have observed a lot of a barter transaction which has been happening in the retail sector okay mm. so for example i'm buying goods from you mm. and then i in return i say i'll promote your goods mm. or i'll give you marketing support or i'll kind of provide a you know kind some kind a of a service like yeah between yeah. two companies so we cannot say that we can just net off the transactions mm. no mm. that's a separate supply from where you buying the goods and providing a marketing support is a separate supply right so we cannot just net off saying that okay there's no money consideration involved and you know uh, we can simply because now after the so many updates in terms of the audit assessments and the tax assessments that have been running on ft is not just particularly you know focusing on tax uh, you know underpayment of tax right. they're focusing on the regularities and the reporting mm-hmm. you uh, as i just mentioned that the voluntary disclosures Correct. even if there is no impact on the vat mm. it is still one of the you know a change that has been into the market mm. so it's very important then there has been another uh, thing although it is still to be analyzed there has been an update that if you are uh, making if you are making a supply on a digital platform or on an e-commerce platform be it a website portals ai's whatever you're using then you can you can report your supplies mm-hmm. basis the emirate where you are making the supply okay. so earlier it was like where the supplier is based mm-hmm. you will make a you will record your supplies accordingly now the scenarios have changed in terms of the e-commerce platform mm. of course it's driving the market out here so yeah. it it had to come so i'm right now looking into that whether our yeah, e-commerce sales have crossed the threshold of qualifying registrants and do we need to intimate it to the fta mm. and how that reporting needs to be done so that is one scenario then of course the tax reconciliations at the another scenarios we look into Super. documentation mm. so very important for example in terms of import of goods and services we see okay it's reflected in the custom portal let's just report it and your mm. vat return and claim input mm. no it has been again highlighted in the law again that you have to have the invoices mm-hmm. so you have to chase the foreign vendors to issue you invoices kya baat hai so there's a lot more happening and there's a lot more we can do and i think every year we have something or the other to add on to it how important is it for uh, you know for someone like you to always stay um, updated where the new information is concerned over the new rules and laws and how important is it as a company for you to also educate the the colleagues that you work with especially in this uh, department i would say that it's the pillar to any it's a pillar to any to any organization or, any, any organization who have a tax team which is well educated and aware of the upcoming scenarios so being a tax manager what is my role out here is that i would first see what are the updates what are the awareness sessions that fta is conducting mm-hmm. and then we plan a day of course it's a gcc region and friday is now working but still we have some leverage on time on fridays correct so yeah. we have a team meetings we have across gcc i would say we have mm. like in other regions as well so we see all the updates that have happened and we connect with the team and we educate them and of course it's not just like i am educating them there's a lot more which is coming from the young youth the mm. questions are mind blowing mm. <laughs> like you look into why Correct. why this has come curiosity yeah. yes so 
I think it's very important to have more of a young generation mm-hmm. into the mm-hmm. tax team to keep mm-hmm. it more lively as well as interesting mm-hmm. and more aware and educated. It's, it's superb to be a part of it. Superb, you know, it was superb to be uh, a part of this conversation as well. Rupali, we're running out of time. There is so much to know. Itna kuch janne ke liye baaki hai abhi bhi. We would love to have you once again. Agar tally solutions allow karte hai, to <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank it was you, Rupali. Pleasure having to be here. Thank you. Likewise.